Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we had to deal with the breakout, which is my second least part of the least favorite part of the game. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue on through the mansion. And, you know, last time I explained my least favorite section of the game, which is just the part where you have to keep going through the cellar over and over again. Um... But one problem I seem to have is I couldn't find where the, uh, I just couldn't find where, hi Mr. Bones, I couldn't find where the 41st boo was because he just went to the left and disappeared. So I guess we'll just have to search for him another time. Hey, a bunch of money. Mr. Bones, there are a few skeletons in here. Apparently all all of these skeleton enemies are called Mr. Bones, even though, you know, it was just, I guess it was the, okay, I'm back, sorry, I was, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but I was just, my brain was so overloaded with the stress from last episode that my brain just completely short-circuited and just forgot how to properly string together words and sentences. So, I'm back now. It just took me a couple of seconds to calm down. Okay, you're just a boo ball. Boomerang, coming at ya. 300 HP. I think this is the highest a boo can go. Ah, gosh, dang it. Okay, he goes up into that top room. So now we're gonna clear this out. This, these are the. Oh, I guess you're just here in the dark, even though that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna deal with you real quick before I talk about the boss fight. Out in the hall. Please don't go into a room on the left. I like to walk onto the left side of the hallway because the boo is pretty much just supposed to run away from you. And so if you go to the left, he'll go to the right, which is where I wanted to go. Okay. Ah. Okay, I don't think the boss fight actually does anything until... until you actually decide to activate it by doing a bunch of stuff. Come on, Boomerang. Supposed to come back at me, so do that. Wait. Okay. <sighs> Got it. This last section of Boo hunting is very stressful, and if you don't want to go for 100%, then you can just stop after 40, I think, or 45 in the PAL version and the Hidden Mansion. But, uh... I'm going to go for 100% because if you collect all 50 boos, it helps you with your, uh, what's it called, your final rank. So you want to activate all of the cuckoo clocks. And they play the Luigi's Mansion theme. And once you activate all of them, all of the toy soldiers spring to life. And you have to suck on the uh, little... What's the name of the little knob that turns? I think it has a name for it. I'll just call it the twisty thing. But yeah, there are three toy soldiers here. And you have to suck them all up. And they're all dealing damage to you at the same time. On. No, 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 no. Okay. Thankfully, the furniture there blocked off the uh, toy soldier's shot, so it didn't mess with me. You got the blue guy. I think the pink one is going to mess this up, so I'm definitely not getting a gold here. Yeah, definitely not getting a gold here, but 
You know. Oh, hey, I got the big pearl. I guess they were kind of generous with this one. Okay, got you. Okay, all of them are dealt with. Now, please don't take me across the entire, like, back and forth across the house, whichever boo this is. You are? Six o'clock booze. Is that an alcohol joke? Or is it, or is it a news joke, like the six o'clock news? I guess that makes more sense for an E-rated game, but I'll have to look into that. Okay, 184 HP. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> well, it is that bad if I start missing him entirely. No, no, no. Don't don't go into the hallway. Don't go into the hallway. Please, please, don't go into the hallway. I'll you can go into the toy soldier's room. Okay. Just as long as you don't go into the hallway. Going into the hallway is one of my worst fears right now. Boo 42. Yeah, I know. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Thank you for reminding me, Igad. I forgot about the plant. You guys remember the plant down on the first floor by the, uh, by Spooky's doghouse? Uh, we need to go water that. This is the last time you need to water it. Uh, thank you so much for reminding me, Egad. I, I know you're a fictional character and you can't hear me saying thank you, but... <sighs> okay. My brain is just so fried right now that I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. But yeah, you definitely want to go down and you want to water that plant. I should have done this first right after I beat Bulasis, but I guess I was just so excited because I beat Bulasis. <laughs> okay, so once you get back here and you have some water... I want to go over here to the plant, and it's going to be like this. You want to water it? It opens up, and you get a gold diamond. There are only two of these things in the entire game, and they are worth so much money. I'll put up on screen how much it's worth. It also gives you a bunch of just normal coins as well. But yeah, th thank god Egad reminded me of that, because if he hadn't, then I probably would have forgotten, and then I would have been upset with myself, because... Yeah, it is just such a good reward, and all you have to do is just keep remembering to water that plant. So I'm going to go ahead and save right now, because I don't want to lose this. Blackout was scary, yeah. It, it sure was. Okay, now I'm gonna head back up to... I'll head back up to the toy soldier room and see what else there is to do there. I wonder... If, uh, you know how we fought Miss Petunia in a bathroom? Well, bathrooms can't get booze in them, right? Like, you can't... No boo locations are in the bathroom. I wonder if that means that Miss Petunia is the only boss ghost to not have a boo in her room. I'll have to look into that later, but yeah. Back into the toy soldier room, the uh, clockwork room. You want to walk into this little fake house right here and it'll act like an elevator and lift you up to the roof. This is our first time seeing the roof. This is the highest we can possibly get in the mansion. Got a bunch of shy guy ghosts here, so you just want to do what you typically typically do with them. And I am very bad at getting multiple ghosts at a time. Ah. Okay, there we go. I think we just need two more and we should be done with the roof. Or no, four more, sorry. Oh, come on, why can't I get two at the same time? I don't know if there's... Let me know in the comments if there's something that I'm doing wrong. Ah, uh, I didn't even get any that time. Okay, 
Okay, my last chance to get two at a time. And I failed at both. <laughs> okay, last shy guy. I might I might cut out parts of ghost hunting because it starts to get long, boring, and tedious. So up at this right here, there's nothing. I feel like there's something you can do up here. Maybe... I think I know what's up there. There's some sort of puzzle on this roof, which I forget exactly what it is because... I remember less about the, the later parts of this game. Like, in Area 4, I don't remember too much. But there's some sort of... Oh! I have to kill all the ghosts and... There was one ghost left. There we go, there's the thing we need. Hey, me from the future. So, like a lot of YouTubers I'm inspired by, I like to keep whatever game I'm next gonna be Let's Playing secret. And for some reason, during this recording, I just started talking about it a bunch, and I decided, you know what, um, it's I'm just gonna edit some audio over top of it. And plus, I started talking about it like it was gonna be my next Let's Play. It's not even gonna be my next Let's Play anymore. I'm having one Let's Play in between those two. So, yeah. I don't really have much to say other than, hey, this is why I'm doing this. But I also wanted to dub in some audio just so you guys were entertained and it wasn't silent and weird for whatever reason. Anyway, sealed room. They're somewhere in here. I need to check all of the chests because somewhere in here is a speedy spirit waiting to be grabbed. Not you. Not you, definitely not you. Okay, please, 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 please. Okay, there we go. We got, I think that's our last emerald. Yeah, I think nine emeralds is the maximum amount. Gosh dang you wall hanging ghost thing. Why didn't that? Okay. I don't think I'll be cutting out ghost hunting, but I'll just be editing through it just to make it a bit quicker. And there's our next key. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna head there next. And by head there next, I mean head there in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and move on to see what those rooms that we just opened are and possibly get closer to the end of Area 4. We are getting very close, so either next episode will be the finale or somewhere in the next two episodes after that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.